Hello, uh, it's me. I just wanted to show off the D forum notes. Uh, it's a new set of notes. Um, these are the examples. If you go to your manager and you just click on uh, install, uh, and then you go to uh, D forum, it should be right. Uh, right here, deforum notes. So it gives you a full pack of deforum notes. Uh, it's they've been developing this for a little while now. Um, looks like they started about three months ago, somewhere somewhere around there. Started adding all this stuff. Um, uh, yeah. So they added a bunch of new notes. Before they had like a um, one that was part of the manager comfy UI that was called Fizz Notes, but uh, to me they weren't as fun to use. So, uh, so I just want to show off some of these base notes. Uh, these are the examples. So these come with your uh, deforum when you install it. You just go to your comfy notes. You go to examples, and then uh, your deforum comfy notes. And then he, these are all the workflows. So the one that I mostly use is the IP adapter. So I've been using it for those animations. So this is one of the workflows that I I just finished working on actually. So if you go to my shorts, you can find these. So I kind of mess with the settings. You can kind of mess with the uh, noise scheduling and strength. So strength will basically control how strong the uh, prompts are. And then noise will basically decide how much the image changes every f like every time it runs. So these, these notes are kind of weird because uh, when you cue it, it'll run through a loop and then it'll just keep going. So you got to turn auto cue on. So when you do that, it'll just keep running. So I'll show that with, uh, I guess I can just show this one. So uh, basically, it'll cue all of your your uh, frames into the save video. But if you hit clear cache and then hit reset counter and reset latent, and then you can see how it just runs. So it'll start running through my prompts that I wrote down there. It'll go through there and then it, it automatically turns on my auto cue. So it'll, it'll save it. I'm going to turn this off. Is that uh, that this I added this on just for the extra, so I can save the workflow at the end. So I can if I need to reuse the workflow. So you can see how it's just it's going through and making each frame. So right here I have a prompt zero is right here. So um, for from zero till forty, it'll use that prompt, and then you can see the prompt count right here. So it'll just keep running through adding up each prompt so that's kind of cool so that's how i've been using mine like you know i kind of create a prompt just as i go and uh there is a lot of issues where I, I get a lot of errors so you have to kind of work them out as you go but uh most of my issues have been just with uh with the prompt so if you add like uh too many spaces and stuff in here sometimes you get errors so uh, if you get like an error and you can't solve it, I usually just go back to the example workflows and I just like, I just take one from here and then uh, just kind of update this whole section and then it typically just starts to work. So that's what I do. And then I'll show you this other one up here. I haven't used this one yet. So what I can do is I can go over here to uh, the deform. So typically when you start this, you, you'll want to uh, start off by just loading your, uh, Prompt. So I use X Lightning just because it's fast, and then I usually set this to because I'm using a Lightning XL Lightning model. So with XL Lightning, you don't need a high CFG, and then your steps you can lower your steps. So I can put it to like eight is usually what I like to put it at, and then you can mess with the strength and this stuff. So this will basically control how strong your prompts are. But if I didn't want to do that, uh, I mean. Uh, usually your prompts will line up. So with this workflow, it looks like it does like a um, hybrid motion, which I haven't gotten hybrid motion to work, but I'll just give it a test right now just to see if I can get it to work. Let me find a video to put in into here first. So I, I do have a video that I got off of YouTube. It's just a guy playing basketball, just some random video. So let me see if I can get this to run and then we'll see if it works. So I'll just hit Q once. So it'll run that first frame. The video has nothing to do with the frame, so we'll see how well it works. So it's already auto queuing, which we don't want to do yet. And then you'll just un unbypass these. And then let's see if this works. So let's see. It it usually will go. It does seem to be working. Let's see. I don't know if this video has anything to do with the frame, so I don't know what kind of motion it'll give us. We can let it run for a little bit, I guess, and I'll I'll actually upload this alongside of it just to see if 
see what comes out. So I'll uh, pause the uh, pause the recording while we wait. So just to experiment, because while it's running, you can kind of mess with the prompts. Like, uh, that's kind of it's kind of fun to do that while while you wait. So what I did is I increased the diffusion cadence, and what cadence does is it kind of skips frames, so it'll kind of run through a bunch of prompts, and then it'll skip the frame. So I skip basically forty frame. I mean, I skip real realistically four frames, but uh, I just turned that back to zero just because. Usually, it'll if you have a motion, it'll increase the amount of motion, so you can get basically uh, like one frame, but you'll get ten frames of motion if you increase this to ten. So, so it just turned into a a girl for some reason. I'm not really maybe the prompt changed. Yeah, beautiful coconut. That's um, it's a woman, not a coconut. So I'm not really sure why that changed. So I'm still here. So I'm just like trying to figure this out as as I go here. So um, it looks like there isn't like a completion. It looks like it'll just go until the video is complete, which could be a long time because this is probably like a minute long video. So it'll probably generate 60 times 60. So it's probably 3600 frames. So that's going to be a long time. But I'm assuming because it's like a dude with a basketball, it's like it's assuming that these are basketballs or something, and then uh, I'm gonna stop it, and then we can watch the video and see see how it looks. So to stop it, you'll go up to here and you'll hit dump now. The dump now basically means that you're gonna it's gonna dump the catched frames into the uh, into your folder. So okay, so dump now. We'll let it run one more time. It's like a I mean, I didn't change the prompt at all, so this is, that's why it's weird. We'll let that go through. Uh, it should be in here. Deform zero, I believe this is it. All right, so I did just click this button right here, and it does start to let you like play it. So um, basically, it's it plays really fast. It's it's running at twenty four frames per second. Oh, I see why it's not saving. Okay, so this two six it'll start in two six five, but uh, if you don't have um, two six four encoding, then two six. I mean 265 encoding, then you'll want to switch it to 264 and then switch this to MP4. And then when you hit dump, it'll save correctly. So I did have it saved. It's right. I have it saved right here, but because of my encoding is wrong or the, the encoding is wrong, I can't look at it. So this is the video right here, which it is a square, but you can change the resolution over here. So when you uh you can change the resolution to whatever. So um if you're using an SDXL model, sometimes you can you can change the uh width and the height. And then you can use like a SDXL resolution. Uh either of these works. So you can just like attach the and then it'll always be the correct uh resolution for you. So if you want to do like shorts, you can change it to portrait and then that's what I do. So this is easy way to set it up and so uh, yeah so um, I guess I'll, I'll have to do some more experimenting with um, hybrid motion so if you're having issues just remember to load it once and then unmute so like or unbypass so you'll need to bypass that one in these ones but the rest of the nodes should work without having a frame input so that's uh, that's that's how you do it so yep thanks for watching uh, if you learned anything subscribe because uh i need subscribers and i'm almost at 400 so if you can get me past 400 that'd be great and uh, like the video i will be active in the deforum uh discord server so if you have any questions about this kind of stuff you can just join the deforum discord uh, i'll leave a link to that in the description as well so it should be good all right thanks